<laughs> Memphis police looking for three armed suspects, one for robbing a tree trimming crew. One worker was hit in the head with a pistol while seven employees were robbed. W they robbed the entire tree trimming crew. The entire guy. You ever seen those guys out there? They're on. They're like, it's like they're like well, fucking bees and shit just all over the place. They robbed the entire crew. Memphis police Any looking bets for three who? armed suspects in wanted Memphis? for robbing a tree trimming crew. One worker was hit in the head with a pistol while seven employees were robbed. WRG's Mike Suriani reports it's the latest crime targeting defenseless workers on the job. Sherwood Forest, a long established neighborhood off Park Avenue. It's in this community Wednesday morning, a crew of tree trimmers was robbed at gunpoint by three armed suspects in a red Dodge Charger. One of the workers. A red Dodge Charger, man. <laughs> we, I think, did this, man. Come on, man. You ain't know. Make sure you hit the PayPal, the Cash App, and the Super Chat. Support the channel, guys. Job of rents. This is where he lives at. This is where he, the city he plays in. One of the workers was pistol whipped by a masked suspect. Friday, Earl Huffman was rehabbing a house not far from where the robbery took place. My son used to live in this neighborhood. Huffman says it's a shame anyone, especially in tree trimming and construction, is subject to have criminals sneak up and rob them. I tend to keep my eyes open. I always make sure I keep my vehicle locked, that I don't leave any tools out. Working with a chainsaw is already a dangerous job, made more perilous by armed thieves increasingly on the prowl for money and property. We are working on White Station at Walnut Grove, removing some trees. This man does not want to be identified, but is foreman of a tree trimming crew robbed May 1st in broad daylight. Four people jumped out of two of the two vehicles with their guns drawn and robbed two of my guys. He says one worker was slightly injured in a crime that took all of about a minute, cost his company $5,000 worth of chainsaws and is demoralizing. They took the chainsaws, five thousand dollars worth of chainsaws. We're taking everything, bro. I don't know. I might have to just go zoom, 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 and shove it right into their chest. Yes. Not when a gun point. Not when a gun pointed at you. Yeah, especially them. These people, you know, these guys will shoot you like they. They all shoot you quick anywhere. They shoot you in front of city hall. Realizing. This is the second time that it's happened to us. This is getting out of the out second of time. It's Holy happened to us. shit! What the? F Just imagine the level of crime and criminality when this is when this is this one tree trimming company has had this happen to them twice. And the scorpion unit is the problem. Of control, way out of control. When we have to go to work with you know guns on our side just to make money in the city. In Sherwood Forest, Mike Suriani, WREG News. Ooh, facts. We have a crime alert tonight out of South Haven as the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms is looking for accused burglars in a recent gun and jewelry store burglary. That burglary <laughs> happened overnight Wednesday at the fine jewelry on Goodman Road East. Five suspects were caught on camera breaking into the store, stealing several guns before running off. The New Orleans division. Uh, God, they, look how much damage they do. And the people who own this business going to come in the morning or maybe they see it because, you know, a lot of people have the hooked up to their phone, the security camera. So you're at home, you get an alert on your phone, you look and you see this shit. <laughs> and you the, call the police and you know the police are defunded. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to get there in time. You call the police and you rush down there and these guys have been gone for fucking 30 minutes and shit. That says South Haven. That's in Mississippi. They're not uh, in Memphis, so they it's may not still, be defunded. It's still proper. It's still prop Memphis proper. Memphis is right there on the edge. It's a suburb, suburban Memphis. I'm just saying they may not be defunded. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe not. The ATF and the National Shooting Sports Foundation were offering a combined $5,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. If you have any information, you're asked to call the ATF. That number, 8 Eight eight two eight three eighty four. Yeah, this is a toughy Sunday. They're, they're not even in much of a rush. 
that that's crazy. I mean, that's you know, like, they're, they're not really not re in much of a hurry in there, you know. Yeah. Um, 